Hello everyone and welcome to my mini guide series, the series where I explain to you in a short amount of time stuff that you need to know in an easy to follow guide. Hey guys, Messenger of Death here and we are back with another mini guide series. Currently at the moment there's been a certain Digimon called Ogamon who has been added to the digital world. If we speak to Mr. Ogamon, he will have an exclamation mark above his head. Unfortunately, you cannot read this in Korean. But he will give you a task to do. If you want to find out how to activate said task. The best way to do so is to use Yandex Translator. Okay, as I was saying before I got interrupted. If you cannot figure out how to do a quest, you need to use the Yandex Translator. If you press N and you go to your mini map. And you select it and doesn't take you anywhere. You're like, well, what the hell do I do then? There's no icon. It's not showing me what to do. So in this case, you'll have to use Yandex Translator. I will leave a link to Yandex in the description down below. But basically, if you use Yandex Translator, you take a picture of it on your phone. Or another device where you can take a picture. Once you're happy with your translator, make sure you zoom in, by the way, when you take the picture. Make sure you capture specifically that text you want translating only. And it'll take a few seconds. Bok Day event, collecting croissants. So apparently I have to collect 10 items from somewhere. Okay, so in order to complete his quest, we have to do some crafting. Which means we need to buy some items real quick. We need 10 croissants. So if we go over here to Mushroom Mom, buy 10 of these. Let me go into our crafting menu and we scroll all the way down. And we will make 10 of these. If you fail, just buy another one from our good friend Mr. Uh, Mush Mom. Mushroom Mom, whichever, however you want to pronounce it. You make 10 of these. And I believe you get a free item. Because this is currently an event going on at the moment. So as you can see there for completing it, I got an item. Now this is an item which gives you various rewards. Which can be traded in for something I'm assuming. I still have to figure this out. And I will let you know once I do. Oh yeah. These have been added to the store as well, which are new crafting items, by the way, in this recent update. So make sure you buy one of these. These are crafting recipes. So now we should be able to make some extra items. Let's see if those items that I actually got... Aha! So these are used in these recipes, apparently. So doing this task will basically allow you to get certain items. Interesting. So this is what the costume pieces get. They get you a chicken headpiece. Which if you refer to my earlier guide where I said you get login items. That's what you basically get for it. So if you continue to keep translating and going through these items. It will basically allow you to continue this quest. And you'll keep getting items which you can then make these. Which I'm assuming give you some kind of buff. Yeah. So that's probably like an hour you get 30 strength. Max HP plus 500 for an hour. So it's quite interesting, definitely. Um, if you want so much to stop boost to make you a bit stronger. Definitely something to bear in mind. Unfortunately, there's not really much else I could do in terms of a guide of this. Because it's just come out. I still have to figure it all out. But hopefully this helps clear things up on what to get, what to do to get started. Hey guys, Messenger of Death in. I just want to thank you all so much for your kind words and support that I've been receiving recently. All the likes, the views, the comments have been absolutely amazing. Knowing that I'm helping people with these videos, I will continue to do so in the future. Thank you so much. It's been absolutely amazing. I cannot stress that enough. This month I do have plans for Digimon Survive at the end of the month when it releases. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so because that will be coming to this channel. I will still be doing Digimon Super Rumble, so that is not going away. Do not worry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It will be coming uh, alongside uh, Digimon Survive. Maybe a little bit slower on the uploads to Digimon Super Rumble, just for a little bit while I get some recordings done for Survive. But Digimon Super Rumble is not going away anytime soon. Again, 
I'd like to thank you all so much. Please continue to enjoy the videos. I'm glad to have been of help. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.